Hello, you're traveling and you've brought what you can while you travel, your props, but how do you really prepare really well while you travel? Hello, I'm teacher Jackie. I've been teaching uh, ESL online for over three years and it's just great to share tips and tricks and ideas and making it cheap, easy, quick, simple because we want to maximize our money and minimize our work. Because <laughs> the more work you spend outside of class, then that makes it part of the time you're working. So it lessens your pay. Does that make sense? <laughs> All right, well, let's do this real quick. Typically, I have my, this is my, I am teacher Jackie, matches my sign back there. I have my yes and no. These are really staple for any level any class, any time. I am happy, you are happy, we are happy, everybody's happy, we have that. The other staple prop is a magnifying glass. I brought this with me. It's a little heavy to travel with, but it's worth it because the kids like it when my eyeball gets big. Am I get it? Here we go. <laughs> it kind of blinds me too. I also have um, each company has a different reward system. So whether they're stars or hearts or apples or coins, you have that, I have that for mine. So individual lesson props, some companies require them, some of them highly recommend suggest them. Um, this prop, yay, it was here where we are visiting and I need to take the sticker off, it's gonna drive me crazy, but um, it's probably not gonna be noticed. I'll hopefully remember to just cover it, but you're always gonna sing or even if you're not singing, you can do it for response, your turn my turn, your turn. And the only thing I don't have is a puppet on this travel trip. So if you have a puppet with a moving mouse, that works. And if it's, you know, easy to, to travel with. I have a stuffed animal. Actually, it's a walking one. It's kind of hard, but this is cool too. I can do him. Doesn't have a moving mouth, but people, the kids totally love him today. The other thing is I have a game kind of like a whack-a-mole game in one of my platforms. I don't have a mallet, but I made this really quick with Lego. So if you need to see that real quick to see what I did. And the kids love it. As soon as I bring it up, I'm like, oh, let's get the word. They start laughing and giggling because they realize it's a toy. I failed to bring one piece of paper, two pieces of paper, one that shows big and small and one that shows short and tall. Boo. So I'm getting more creative. This is my small book. I can, so this is a small book and I have a big book. So I figured something cool. It's nothing, I had to make sure I had to grab another book that was not appropriate for what the book was and what was titled. I didn't want to get flagged and any kind of teacher feedback. So as I go through the slides, I'm looking at them and one of them has like the letter N. So I'm looking around, I might try to print it in or just grab a piece of paper and draw it in. Big N, little N, call it a day. The other thing I found, I have a class that is happy, sad, all the feelings, and I only have my happy with me. So if I can print them, great. If not, I'm fine. The other thing is I have a flat 2D ooh, trophy <laughs> that goes for several platforms. And then we also have some kind of camera function there. The kids are fine with that. I am too. What else? So this helps. The other thing I was able to do, which you may or may not be able to do, is sometimes platforms want a secondary reward or some kind of something going on. So I have this, and then I connect it with this, and then I connect it with this, <laughs> and then I connect it with this, and then I connect the last piece, da 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 da. It's a little caterpillar thing. Is that cool or what? I thought it was adorable. I uh, used it in one class. The kid liked it. So one kid, I brought it up. He didn't know, but he loved this part. And he was like, oh, two eyes. And he went all fluent English on me on that one. But of course, the class we were doing, he was clueless. It was so weird. What else? So get your props ready. So I'm just going through. And in most platforms, you can click through, click, 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 go through each slide. In some platforms, if you're not able to, you will at least get the objectives or what is wanted. And you're able to get a gist of what that fits a dog, a cat, a horse, a pig, big, small, happy, sad. Um, I can't believe I didn't bring those. So again, I just want to encourage you that it's going to be simple. It's going to be easy. If you're traveling, don't stress about it. You'll figure it out. And the kids are fine. And every kid is different. And if you prep, because I was that, I was that teacher. 
I prepped out the wazoo for every single slide, for every single vocabulary word. For, and my whole desk was laid out like a, you know, um, command center for each class. And next thing you know, you don't use half the props or you're stuck on the kid not saying the TH very well. And that's more important than all these props, to be honest. So, you know, it's good to whack a, whack a word, but it's also better to tell them about the S, the th, the th, the ch, ch, ch. And don't forget, sometimes this helps too. If you have a piece of tissue, that's what I need to get. If you have a tissue, you can show them the, like, you know, the tissue will move. So they understand there's breathing going on. Um, the th, th, th is, the same, is different than the th, 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 it's a little different. So keep teaching great English out there. So all of us, all ESL teachers are at a really good level of teaching and sharing and on, you know, definitely have your own methods and your own ways. I am so glad to share this with you. If you have any comments, suggestions, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next video. Thank you so much.